Hello and welcome to another Sela Moment. Thank you so much for joining us today and I pray that this encourages and inspires you as that is always our hope and our desire is to see you take just a few minutes out of your day just to be reminded of who God is in your life, what he has done for you, and what he continues to do for us all. Amen. So as I was pondering, you know, Selah means to pause and to think about it. And I just want you to think about this. And maybe you've gotten this phone call because I know I have. I get it all the time. Like, hey, have you heard? Do you know what's going on? You know what the news said? Oh, so-and-so said that so-and-so, you know, it's like, Everybody talking about everything that's going on, right? Like, it's an epidemic. It's like, this is going on, that's going on. Oh, girl, and this is happening too. It's like, we are spreading every news. But the good news, the gospel. Can you imagine if we could spread the Bible, the Word of God, as much as we spread what the man said on TV, what so-and-so said about the economy, if we could just take a moment, focus on the news that is most important, the, the news that is life-changing, the news that is everlasting, the news that just brings joy to you, instead of the news that brings discouragement and fear. You know that God is not the author of confusion. That's who the enemy is. He's the author of confusion. He wants to make you afraid and fearful of every day that you live, making you think that God don't care about you and he's not on the throne. But I'm telling you, if you would get into the good news, the word of God, and hear and read all those things that the Lord says, those things that will bring joy and encouragement and, and make you not fearful. Because if you read in the word of God, it says, perfect love casts out all fear. Oh, yes, and it also says things like, uh, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly to the overflow. Absolutely. You'll also read things that says, no weapons formed against you shall prosper. The weapons may form, but they're not going to prosper. You know, it's like it's life-sustaining. You can't sustain your life. You can't sustain, um, you know, just every day. If you don't read the good news, because we know there's so much news. Someone has an opinion or you'll read things on Facebook and take it as this. It's, it's the gospel. Come on. The gospel has never changed. The word of God has been the same forever. And yet even in the word, we have preachers and people that are watering down the gospel. And let me tell you, when you water it down, it's no longer the gospel. It's just an opinion of someone else who thinks what the word says is not true. And I'm telling you, I'm one of those people. You know, I was thinking about that song, Take Me Back, Take Me Back, Dear Lord, written by Andre Crouch. Take me back, Lord. May I never forget what I learned in Sunday school. May I never forget those truths that I learned from those Sunday school teachers and growing up, you know, in the church and hearing the truth, Lord. And when I hear something that is opposite of the truth, I cringe because sometimes it comes out of mouths of people that you at least expect. So I would tell you and encourage you this, instead of taking all the news that someone is calling and trying to share with you and trying to tell you and give you their opinions, get into the word and be encouraged because in this world there's so much confusion. We're living in a time that I don't even remember living in before. But one thing that has never changed is Jesus, who is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I pray that you ponder this today. Be reminded today that in a, when there's so much media out there, so many opinions, the one that matters is what God says. Get in the Word. May God bless you, and thanks for joining us today. Be blessed.